What started off as a normal day for our first patient has ended up with a trip to accident and emergency. Luckily, they've come to the right place. In the waiting room is six-year-old Harry, who's come in with an unusual head complaint. I have a big stone in my head. It hurt. I'm not surprised. How did that happen? It was just another ordinary day in the playground. You know how it is. It was break time and Harry was chasing wolves. Wolves? In the playground? Oh, I suppose they probably do have wolves at Hogwarts. It's not Harry Potter, Chris. OK, he was pretending to chase wolves. They were everywhere and Harry was running, ready to pounce. He was just about to catch one. When suddenly he tripped and smacked his head on the ground. Ouch! It was a good game until I fell over. Enter Dr Gareth Hardy. He's the man to sort out that stone. What have you done to yourself, eh? What's going on? I fell over in the school. Dr Gareth examines Harry to check for signs of any other injury to his head. And you just got to look at my eye like that. Then it's time to tackle the obvious problem. Oh, you've got a big bit of gravel stuck in there, haven't you? Ow. Sorry, my friend. It's clearly sore, so he'll need some anaesthetic cream to numb the area before our doctor can get to work. Does it hurt? It's, it's um, not a single bit anymore. Good. With Harry's head numb, Dr Gareth gets plastic tweezers ready to grapple with some grit. It looks a bit tricky. Yes, I think it's jammed in further than we thought. I can feel the trick of gravel in there. It's not coming out. I can't quite flick it back out because it's so deep down. Maybe a sharper tool will help, or not. Anyone got a hoover? Anyway, you might be wondering where that stone has gone to. Well, behind our forehead are five layers for it to get lost in. A combination of skin, fat, fibrous tissue and blood cells surrounds our skull. When these layers are broken, dangerous infection can occur. So it's important that we get that stone out of Harry's head and close up that hole. But no one said it was going to be easy. This is one stubborn stone. Is it the Philosopher's Stone? Just drop the Harry Potter thing, Chris. Sorry. We've got some of the gravel out, but there's a chunk left, right, deep down. So we we'll to give Harry a little break and we'll see what we can do. OK. We'll come back to Harry in a bit while we go and check out another patient, Ron Weasley.